You guys are amazing with your comments and suggestions. Thank you. Okay, in uh, t today's episode, I had somebody ask me if I could do a uh, quick tutorial on Swift tools, and I figured I would also include Flash in this episode. So that's what we're going to do today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. Um, before I start, I just want to say I love my Windows software. And I'm happy that I've been able to get these programs to run in Wine. Now, it was suggested that I do an episode on alternatives. but And I have done a, done a few alternatives already in some of my episodes. But I wanted to mention something that there is no alternative for. And that, of course, is my favorite um, drawing and animation application, Macromedia Flash Professional. I've been using this program for years, uh, and I'm so used to all of its drawing tools and everything that it has here. And uh, I really like how versatile it is, and I was able to get this to run beautifully within Linux. And uh, I know they had an application at one time called Flash for Linux, but it, it's still in alpha. And I haven't. I've been watching it, and I haven't seen. Uh, I haven't seen the developers of this program really do anything with it. Now, if you are not a Flash developer like I am, but you still want to make Flash-enabled content, there is a tool called Swift Tools. Let me go ahead and pull this up here, and I'll give you that page. Let me see here. That is. Uh, let me do a search for it. My bad for not having that ready. All right, here it is. It's at swifttools.org. And there is a huge collection of tools that you can use to make Flash content that you can put on your websites or blogs or whatnot. And uh, here it is. And in the download section, you can get the Windows version or you can download a tarball that will require you to in, to uh, compile this and make an installer for your system. And let's go ahead and have a look at this. Let me go into uh, refer I think it's in references here. And they had a page on installation. What I'll go ahead and do is I'll put that up for you, but um, at any rate, I looked at the installation. Let me see. The, I, it's probably in frequently asked questions that came up here. Okay, yes. Uh, here it is. Okay, now, it has installations, instructions for installing this in Unix, Linux, and uh, BSD. And as you can see, there are a number of commands that you need to issue to get this thing working. I didn't feel like really going through that process of doing that. So what I went ahead and done was downloaded the exe file for Windows. I'm going to see if we can get this running. I guess I just needed another uh, demonstration of Wine and Vineyard. And so let's go ahead and pull that application up and see if we can get that running first. I'm going to go into Downloads here, and here is that file. I'm just going to double-click that. If you want to know how to get Wine and Vineyard, please see my tutorial. I have that uh, on my channel, and uh, it has uh, in the show notes it has all the information for getting this. I'm going to select the developer, uh, the developer Wine prefix because it already has everything I need uh, installed on it. So most of the dependencies that are required will be there. All right, so we'll select OK. And now we have the installer. We'll go ahead and install for all users. It requires uh, the space that's necessary. OK, no problem. We'll go ahead and let this install. And hopefully it'll put a shortcut on my desktop here. 
Yes, excellent. That's what I want. Okay, installation has completed. Of course, it wants to say that it exited with an error. I run into this error a lot of times, but it has not impeded the performance of the Windows software that I'm running. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this now. And I see it only put one link here. And it looks like this is a program designed to convert your PDF files into Swift. This is great if you're using, if you're trying to um, display uh, pa pages in Flash. Let's uh, go ahead and have a look at this and see if it works. Okay, excellent. It's running. And we'll just select File and we'll open a PDF file. And let me see if I have any PDFs that are handy. I will do it this way. Okay, and don't want to open up anything that is. Uh, I really don't want to open up anything that's copyrighted here. Okay, I am not going to open up any of those. Hmm. Okay. Well, why don't I cr quickly create a PDF file? Alright, so let's open up Office. text document here. Alrighty then, and we're just going to have a little bit of fun. <laughs> Make this a few pages worth. Alright, file, and we will go ahead and export that as PDF. Uh, that's fine. We'll go ahead and we will put this on the desktop. We'll call this test. We'll close this. I'll discard the changes I don't really need. Okay, we have our we have our PDF file here. Let's open a PDF now. Okay, there we go. We've got four pages of gibberish that we're going to make a Swift file out of. All right, and then file save Swift. Uh, all pages and we'll put it on the desktop okay and as you can see we have a Swift and it even generated an HTML file we can look at very nice so let's go ahead and open this with Firefox web browser and see what we have here look at that we've got a nice Swift file that has our pages here all four pages of gibberish and a nice handy little viewer. Okay, very nice. And just out of curiosity, I want to check uh, the drive that installed this to see if there were some other utilities that came with this program. I'm pretty sure it was just the PDF to Swift file, but there are other tools that you can get on their page. Uh, let's go back to that page and see what other tools they have. Okay. Looks like we have a number of them here. You have the Swift Combine. Swift Strings, 
uh, Swift Dump, JPEG to Swift, PNG to Swift, GIF to Swift, <laughs> Wave to Swift. So you can see there's a ton of these, and I just showed you that you could even install the Windows version in Wine rather than having to muck about with all that code in the terminal. So uh, definitely worth uh, checking this out. If you thought this was useful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons also. Please be sure to catch me on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, I've got some more episodes to throw together. we got KDE and we have Puppy Linux coming up. So stick around. We'll be back later.